Well, what better welcoming would you want than your very own sign? Good morning and welcome to the Wildlife Lounge here in Almont. I'm joined with Jim Miles, who owns this fabulous line uh, lounge. Talk about a man cave. This is top notch. It is. It's a, it's a beautiful spot. It's a different spot in the middle of the country. Uh, we have a great time out here. And you're kind of between Almont and Carleton Place. Yeah, Is that it? yeah, Elmont, Carlton Place, and Perth, and sort Perth. of smack dab in the middle. Right. Now, how did this all come to be? Because you've had this for quite a few years. Well, we moved out here about four years ago, but our previous uh, place, we, we put in a garage bar, made yes. uh, use of the space in the house. And uh, when I saw this place and the size of it and the potential of it, I, I figured, you know, this is absolutely perfect and it was a good project. My son's very handy, um, put in all the cabinets in here and uh, we just sort of transformed it into another area. My wife would get a little angry at some points uh, <laughs> in the last house with all the fishing equipment, you know, that was right. in the house. So this is kind of my own spot. And now, exactly, now you have your own spot. Now you have everything here. You invite your clients back here. So maybe talk a little bit about what you do exactly. Well, this is my uh, 25th year in business mm -hmm. with uh, Jim Miles Guide Service. It's been a great time. I started in the 80s with a program called Hooked on Kids Ottawa Cult and Fishing Adventures. Uh, in the 80s, we, we won two years in a row with the highest level of community service, taking uh, little brothers out fishing. Mm -hmm. And uh, after a five-year period, I moved it more into a guiding business and okay. uh, a corporate guiding business. And uh, it's just developed from there. Uh, I run the leasing department of Jim Tubman Chevrolet. A lot of my clients, it sort of goes hand in hand. My fishing clients become my car business and truck clients, clients so right. it all works out well. And now your clients, you invite them back here and you kind of have a fish fry, you have some some drinks, I guess I could say, is that the concept? We do. We uh, Over the course of the year, we do have a few events like that. We have a big event in the fall where, you know, there's 15 area companies competing uh, for the for the Minnow Bucket Cup. It's uh, become quite an event. Uh, the Door Doctor won it last year and uh, probably looking to repeat next year, but yeah. uh, it's a lot of fun. And yeah, a lot of clients come back here. They'll just come back for a casual beer, barbecue fish fry, whatever it may be. And these are all your fishing rods, and these are actually working fishing rods. That's a lot. Well, these aren't uh, all my fishing rods. No, no they're you not. have more than that. Yes, I do. But wow. these are my guide rods. These are the rods that I use for my business. I keep them down, and they're handy. They're easily accessible because I spend an unbelievable amount of time re-spooling, <laughs> you know, tying. I can imagine. Well, hopefully you won't have to re-spool any of the ones that I use today because we're going to be hitting the water later on. Uh, lots of sports memorabilia is here because you guys have a strong... Um, sports background in your family? We did. Both my brother and I grew up playing hockey. Both of us played junior hockey. Uh, David uh, ended up playing major junior A. I played junior myself and uh, David went on to the Detroit Red Wings organization. But at one point, you know, we had about five or six brothers or uh, first cousins playing pro sports. And, you know, I have a lot of uh, friends that are, you know, ex-pro hockey players right. that are back here. Uh, Ted Bully, former Chicago Blackhawk. I have uh, Doug Shedden, who coached Team Canada at the so World tons Championships. Of, tons of famous yeah, friends. Yeah, coming here for four days. And now I'm looking at these massive fish. These are the, your, I guess, your wall of fame fish. Now, I don't think we'll be catching any of those today, but you never know, so stay with us. Lots more to come here with Jim Miles' Fishing Guide. We're actually going to be hitting the water next on CTV Morning Live. <laughs> 